since we were young, we were told electricity and water don't mix. But now, they do. When we first realized that this technology actually worked, it was very exciting for us. And the fact that we could actually touch the contacts without getting shocked, we realized we now had a technology that could actually be mated and unmated underwater with power still in the contacts. And no connector could do that in the past. I'm Harvey Hack. I'm a Northrop Grumman Corporation fellow. So the physics of a Niobicon connector are very similar to how you anodize aluminum to form the surface finish on it. The difference here is that we're using that to form the insulation layer that dynamically forms in our connector. I'm Jim Wingassen. I'm a senior staff systems engineer at Northrop Grumman. When a niobium electrical contact is put in water, it forms by reaction with the water a very thin but highly insulating film because that prevents electricity from leaving that contact and going into the water. Then the mating contact touches the first contact, it scrapes off that film and you get good electrical flow between them. Then when you demate that contact again, the film reforms and it reforms in a matter of milliseconds. This technology has a lot of applicability in other places where you might find wet and or corrosive environments, places like breweries, food processing plants, agriculture, connectors on pleasure craft, on boats that are exposed to salt water and, and um, other corrosive environments. We have recently received our first commercially made Niobicon prototype. Uh, we demonstrated that in a small ROV. What's coming up after that next is bring this to market through a number of different venues.